Ambassador Casey Singh has a question uh, for, for the panel. That's that before we wrap up to this afternoon. Yes. She looked this way. <coughs> Sorry, we can take the focus back to two things. One is funding of parties. In front of us, we have the grand old party. We have the grand new party. We have the original Aam Aadmi, Aam Aadmi or Aam, Aam Didi party. And there is the Aam Aadmi party. And there are four different ways. Two of them, let me give them the figures. Hindus run a story. Uh, 2004-05 to 2011-12. Uh, they are reflecting about 5,000 crores in the books of five national parties, which doesn't include your two. And out of them, 50% is Congress, and a quarter is BJP. And exactly 75.05% is the unknown. Now, why there should be a 20% limit is not understandable. This is not the 19th century. It's computerized. There are cards available. People can even put it on a credit card, etc. Why even one rupee should not be accounted for is not understandable. Yeah. So I think the 20,000 limit is bogus. It needs to be just removed. It should be every PESA that comes in must have a name attached to it. Otherwise, you'll go the way of Sahara has gone at the Supreme Court, where there are five trucks full of receipts okay. and nobody knows Let where the money is. Let me give that to Manish Tiwari. Removing these limits, these are un unrealistic limits of uh, Nidhi, the years whole, ago. The whole question of campaign finance reform is that big gorilla in the room which nobody has looked at. And you know, it's not uh, a very simplistic solution to it. You see, money is collected at different levels. When candidates fight elections, they receive individual funding. When political parties fight elections, they receive funding. When political parties are not fighting elections because we have you know, standing political parties like standing armies, you know, in the more apratic model, you know, they require sustenance to run on a daily basis. So therefore, you will have to look at the entire gamut of campaign finance reform, you know, in a holistic manner. And I agree with uh, Bastard Casey saying, maybe the time has come that you remove all these artificial limits whereby every rupee which comes in, whether it comes into a candidate who is contesting or it comes into a political activist, or it comes into a political party. It should be accounted for. You see, insofar as the Congress, or for that matter, the BJP, or the other political parties are concerned, we comply with the law as it stands today. Yes, if there is a deficiency in the law, there is a need that you know, it possibly does not inspire confidence because of its opaqueness. Let's go ahead and change the law, and let's have a new law which then inspires the confidence of the people.